تبارك الذي نزل الفرقان على عبده ليكون للعالمين نذيرا السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته وقال ربكم ادعوني أستجب لكم And your Lord says call upon me I will respond to you إن الذين يستكبرون عن عبادتي سيدخلون جهنم داخرين Verily those who are too arrogant to worship me will enter hellfire in humiliation. Now pay attention my dear brothers and sisters to the wording that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uses here. Allah says, Ud'uni, call upon me. And in the second half of the verse, rather than saying, Alladheena yastakbiruna an du'ai, those who are too arrogant to call upon me, Allah says, Alladheena yastakbiruna an ibadati, those who are too arrogant to worship me. These two words, ad dua and ibada, it is as if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is using them interchangeably. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentions in a hadith and says, Ad-du'a'u huwa al-ibada. Calling upon Allah and making du'a is worship. And the scholars have said, this is because the greatest means that you and I have to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is by making du'a. We are servants of Allah and we are his slaves. We are constantly in need of him. Our guidance and our sustenance are in his hands alone. We have no might nor any power. So as slaves, we, we call upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and in fact, Allah loves for us to make dua to him. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, مَن لَمْ يَسْأَلِ اللَّهِ يَغْضَبْ عَلَيْهِ Whoever does not ask Allah, Allah will get angry upon him. And it is said in a famous poem, Allah يَغْضَبُ إِن تَرَكْتَ سُؤَالَهُ وَبُنَيُّ آدَمَ حِينَ يُسْأَلُ يَغْضَبُ Allah gets angry if you don't call upon him, while the son of Adam, when you ask him for a favor, he gets angry. Is this not the case, my dear brothers and sisters? We ask our friends or our family members for a favor. They may say yes once or twice, but on the third times, inevitably, they all have an excuse. And in fact, we feel ashamed to ask them because we've already asked them before. Whereas Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala orders us to call upon him. It's the opposite. Allah orders us to call upon him and he says, Ud'uni, call upon me. Astajib lakum, I will respond to you. Allah, la yukhlifullahu a'da. Allah does not fail in his promise. And it is said in a hadith, narrated by Abu Sa'id al-Khudri radiyallahu anhu that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said there is no Muslim that makes a dua in which there is no sin no cutting of family ties except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give him one of three things either Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will answer his dua or through his knowledge Allah will save it for him in the hereafter as a reward or Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will protect him from a harm which is equivalent to what he asked for when the Sahaba radiallahu anhum heard this, they said, if that's the case of a message of Allah, we will ask for more, we will increase. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa replied, Allah has more. My dear brothers and sisters, if we all make dua and Allah makes all of our dreams come true, that will not decrease Allah in the slightest. So we have a Lord that orders us, he orders us to call upon him and he loves for us to do so. And in fact, he gets angry if we don't call upon him. And when we call upon him, he says, Astajib lakum, I will respond to you. So my dear brothers and sisters, the sincere servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will stop and ponder and think, what is the best way I can make dua? What are the best words and duas that I can use to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? And the answer for that question is in the Quran. The best duas that you and I can use to call upon Allah and ask him with are the duas that Allah mentions in the Quran. These duas were made by the messengers and the prophets and the best servants of Allah, the most righteous, and the fact that these du'as are mentioned in the Qur'an is a testament to their lofty status. These du'as may be small in their number of words and concise, but they have great meaning. And these are the du'as that the Prophet ﷺ chose over others. So this is a series dedicated to learning and understanding these du'as so we can enhance our worship by implementing them and using them to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah give us the tawfiq to fulfill this task in a manner which pleases him. I'll see you in the next episode of Quranic Supplications. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jazakumullah khairan brothers and sisters for watching. May Allah bless you all. Please leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. And share this video so that we can all be part of the Quranic revival. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.